Is it better to have a one plane swing or a two plane swing? I would say yes. So up here we have Rory Sabatini on the left and Brendan Steele on the right. You're going to see major differences uh, in these swings, but very effective, both tour winners. Let's take a look. Okay, let's go to the left side with Rory. A lot of knee flex right there, more than some right there, but that's fine. And you're going to see him take the club away, and it's going to go a little bit outside his hands. Um, so we look at that position when the club is parallel to the ground and as a barometer, and you can see that's kind of on a 1 o'clock position with the face, club outside the hands. Okay, no problem. Now here's where you're going to really see a lifting of the club. Now keep in mind, pretty much... I would say 85 to 90 percent of the players on tour have a two-plane swing. Now, does that give him a little more power? Yeah, it might. You can see he's going to get that left arm, you know, very vertical. I'm going to move this even down a little bit so you can see it. And that's like almost 12 o'clock on a clock. So very different than Brendan C on the right. So nice knee flex there. You're going to see him go right around his body so he's going to swing on what we call a flatter swing plane which overall i think is good for y'all because you want to get in the original shaft line plane nice position right there you can see that club opened a little more than some maybe 12 o'clock right there but club on the hand line that's a plus and you're going to see him just really rotate to the top right here but it's around his body right so you talk about a one plane and two plane swing his left arm is about on a shoulder plane so that's my definition of kind of one plane you can see the difference in his right elbow really close to the shaft line plane now if you know so if you have a preference and you're learning it's probably a little bit more effective to learn this way because uh, you can get in a good shaft line plane um, on the downswing. Okay, now Rory, what's he going to do here? He's really, yeah, he's really going to get a drop of the hands. He looks like Bubba Watson, Tom Watson, those Watson guys. Uh, but he's going to drop the club down now. Hands go, you know, just really down, getting into a good, you know, fade position right here. So club slightly outside the hands, slightly above the original shaft line plane, but he's releasing his body. A plus over here with Brendan. He's going to go, remember, lateral to the target and then rotary and you're going to see him be a little more inside right here so this is kind of draw bias right so you got feed on the left draw on the right what's better hey pick one and stick to it and uh i think you'll do just fine impact right here not as much open as you'll see with rory who's going to be a cut player uh generally brennan hitting draws so but you can see the tremendous amount of hip rotation there with rory that's power a plus and through the end of the hitting area over onto the left side. Now we get probably 90% of the weight onto the left side when we finish. I see a lot of the folks I teach hang back. And so um, we want to get all the way through, rotating our body, finishing up on that toe. Very nice right there. So what's the lesson? Well, I once ran into Gary Player and I said, Mr. Player, what's better, a one-plane swing or a two-plane swing? And he said, young men, Young Hogan and I, all we ever worked on was a one-plane swing. A two-plane swing is when you pick up a connecting flight in Atlanta. <laughs> so that was his definition of two-plane. Pick up a connection flight in Atlanta. Okay, so we know where he's, he stood. Thanks for being with us. Always appreciate having you along. More information, Gary Bates Golf Academy over there on Facebook. And if you like a video analysis like this, so easy to do with the V1 app, I can help you out without account our Facebook page. And thanks for your subscription. We've had a tremendous 2022. I thank you for that. And I look forward to hearing from you as to what you'd like to see in 2023. Okay, God bless you. Bye for now.